knee. Okay, instead of having one high and one low or at the knee and trying to push, just feel uh, slight resistance, keep your balance, bend okay. your knees a little. Good. Instead of pushing like that, I'm gonna push like this, you know? You see that? You see what happened? <laughs> so, yeah, you see that? Yeah. As I spread your feet out, it's very strong. Then I go high and low. The top hook forces him backward. The bottom hook forces his ankle forward as I trip him. Just to see, like pulse on your hands. Like try to, yeah, see how I'm just controlling you here. Yeah. Then I lift this hook. My right hand's gonna pummel under as I drop this hook out. And I can come under your ankle either like this or like this, okay? As I get up, now I'm in position. Now we're ready. Is you can leave your left foot where it is and then take your right leg and just swing it and step it around as you go into the knee bar position. Teach me grappling. What's up? It's Brian Peterson. I've got Gino Lee here. Guys, I was just showing a couple of students the other day. This will be a real quick video just on an X guard. Um, X guard's got a lot of entries. I'm just gonna show some real quick, guys. Cause we gotta get out of here. I'm in the black. Let's go in the red. All right, here we go. So come down to butterfly guard. Guys, this is, again, my favorite entry is like getting butterfly guard, attempting a butterfly sweep. When I attempt a butterfly sweep, the guy ends up stepping his leg up. See, he always, like they always step their, their leg up and then I grab it and then I slide underneath. When I slide underneath, I go to this position. Now, there's a bunch of X guard finishes, but I'm gonna show one that I really like that is common. This is not fancy or anything, but I just wanna give a little tip. Go ahead and stand up. See, what happens is the guy stands up. We're gonna talk about this position. Now, this is your back hook. So how did I get here? I, went, I, I underhooked his leg and then I slid underneath, okay? And now this leg is up near my neck and it's tight, I pinch it with my neck. Okay, there's different ways to hold. Some people like to grab their own head. That's a good little tip. Um, some people like to grip like real tight around the knee. You can even use two hands if you need to hold on. Because oftentimes if you give any space here, I've been kicked in the head a million times in competitions uh, where the guy just like kind of sucker kicks my head as he goes that way and he slips out. And he slips out and then you lose control. I try to go to his back, maybe I can get like a De La Hiva type back take, but you might lose the guy. So when you're here, always make sure that you're keeping this really tight. So one way to do it is to hold your head or you grip really tight and maybe even hold with two hands. Okay, this hook is my butterfly hook. This is the back hook. You hip escape and then put your back hook inside. Notice both knees are poking out. So I have my right knee right now poking out the front. I have my left knee poking out the back. In the normal X guard, we have the one that's poking out the back is on top. So you're not like this right now, okay? So I'm gonna be here. Now, sometimes people talk about having it high and one low behind the knee. I don't do that that much, okay? I like to keep my hooks kind of close together. And then the reason why is I'm gonna kind of fork him and push him away from me by thrusting here at the knee. Okay, instead of having one high and one low or at the knee and trying to push, just feel uh, slight resistance, keep your balance, bend okay. your knees a little, good. Instead of pushing like that, I'm gonna push like this, you know? You see that? You see what happened? <laughs> so instead of, go ahead, come back in. Instead of trying to keep them spread out like this, okay, where the guy, honestly, there's other escapes for, for uh, X guard where he can lift his leg and take it out. You don't have to do anything. Okay. But instead of doing that, I'm controlling it right here. Try to move that leg. See how I'm flexing my feet? Like, no, let's try to step out. Try to push my feet down. Yeah. See that? Keep going. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. As I spread your feet out, it's very strong. Then I go high and low. The top hook forces him backward. The bottom hook forces his ankle forward as I trip him, okay? Now guys, look, I have the leg tight like this. We've got a couple finishes, okay? One move is you can leave your left foot where it is and then take your right leg and just swing it and step it around as you go into the knee bar position. And then you guys can pull the knee bar here. You could push here. You could try to swim it in your armpit, all that good stuff. I don't really do that variation very often, but it's all available to you. 
So again, uh, come down, we'll show how I got into x -Card. Again, guys, any type of butterfly sweep, collar tie, underhook, arm drag, it doesn't matter. I go to uh, a, a butterfly sweep, and you see how he created his balance? Once he creates his balance, underhook, I frame away, you try to smash, I frame away as I scoop under, and then I, see how I get that arm away? My left hook is going inside, I'm pushing him away, bottom hook lowers, top hook goes high, and I drop him down. So we're gonna go to the knee bar, my right leg's gonna swing around, as I spin, and you guys can get into the honey hole. Pinch the ankle right here, as I step around, I'm tight to the leg. If you guys want to get into the hunting hole position, you can go to there, okay? Other more common finish, easier, probably more, uh, you'll probably get more uh, uh, more finishes, is just trying to get on top. So I go for a sweep. If it doesn't work, I go into X guard. I extend him away, trip him backward. See this hook that's elevating? Try to get up just to see, like pulse on your hands, like try to, yeah, see how I'm just controlling you here. Yeah. Then I lift this hook. My right hand's gonna pummel under as I drop this hook out. And I can come under your ankle either like this or like this, okay? As I get up, now I'm in position. Now we're ready to this way, maybe this way. Come into my double underpass, pass the guard, and get on top. Side control, okay? So that's your more common finish for it. Um, Everybody's got questions, what if this, what if that, but I put, he puts the leg up and I get up into X-Card. If he stays with his hands down, you're not gonna make this one work. Because when you extend, you can't trip him backward. His hand, weight is here on his hands. When that happens, I slide my hand down to his wrist, okay? And then I try to lift his body, see that? And take him over like this, see the X? And then now, as I come up on top, you have a couple variations. Okay, one variation is to roll and end up here in the guard like this, where I still have his wrist and I have my knee right here so I don't get caught in a triangle. You know, if my knee was down, I would get triangled as I rolled. So you keep your knee here and your posture up, that way you don't get rolled. If I rewind the video, look. Okay, come on back up. I'm into the X guard, then set up. If I extend him away, but he puts weight on the hands, Okay, and I sweep him this time. This time I'm gonna launch him away. And then now, as I'm here, I'm gonna just let it go and pull and come up on top and go towards north-south, pulling his wrist across my waist, pulsing my left hand to the other side of the body. In this one. Okay. John, why am I going crazy? Why? What happened? I just, how did I get here? How did I go from all this? John just asked me, he said, dude, show that one little tiny x card thing. And now I start going crazy. Okay, arm drag. I go to a sweep. We're here. He's very sweaty in his face. Okay, he stands up. Maybe she doesn't want me to hold his wrist. Stands up and tries to push my legs down. Tries to fight it. I extend. Trip him backward. Boom. Try to move. Oh, try to push. Yeah. Look. Keep going. I've got both ankles. Push past the guard. Good. Let's try one more time. Maybe I'll try to go for the knee bar this time. I go for the sweep. Under hook. Guys, here he tries to stand up. No, don't do that. You're gonna just give me this knee bar straight up. Stand up, oh. stand up, Rock. good. Tripping him backward, bring him in around. Keep going, into the honey hole position. Okay, you're not gonna defend this leg? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know how, huh? Yeah, I don't know okay. how. Okay, here, we'll do that on another video, huh? Okay, good. Real quick, let me give you something. Right. Turn your knee that way. Hey, hey, look, look, look. Yeah, your heel is hidden from me. Okay. So I can't get the heel hook. Uh -huh. I can't get the knee bar either. Okay. Push on my leg. Up on your knee. Up. Take that leg and loop it through. Now just keep spinning and turn towards my back. No, no, no. Yeah, but keep going. And you're gonna get me a cigar. Okay. Just keep getting me on side control. That's it. That was cool. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that next time. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. There's a little look at it. It's Monday. I'm going nuts. Teach me grappling. Hope you guys had a good uh, Easter holiday for you guys to celebrate. Other than that, it was a beautiful weekend here in Southern California. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, click, click uh, subscribe, and like it, and contribute to Patreon and PayPal. And please comment down below. Thank you so much. See you later. Gino, out.